Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the 1983 Star Wars Princess Leia in Bosch Disguise action figure. From 1978 until 1982, I spent the vast majority of my free time playing with Star Wars figures. I rarely acted out scenes from the movies and instead created all kinds of new adventures for these awesome characters. At some point in 1982, I got my first G.I. Joe figures and my attention was probably more focused on these new army guys than my Star Wars toys. But when new figures started arriving for Return of the Jedi in 1983, I was excited about Star Wars again in anticipation of the new movie. Before I ever saw Return of the Jedi, I got my first new figure, General Maydeen, and scoured the package for any clues about the next installment of my favorite film franchise. Another of the earliest figures from the upcoming movie to join my ranks was Princess Leia in her Bosch disguise. The figure and the photo on the package intrigued me. I still have my original card back for the figure. I couldn't even imagine what strange and bizarre stories could lead Leia to wear such an odd costume. The photo on the package must certainly offer some kind of clues, right? And what about the figures on the back of the card? Would I find answers here or just more questions about this upcoming movie? If these figures were released ahead of the film to tease me into wanting to see the movie, the plan was working. Princess Leia in her Bosch disguise came with a removable helmet and a crazy long gun. She seemed to be wearing some kind of fascinating armor, and based on the word disguise in the figure's title, I could only assume that she would be involved in a riveting covert mission in Return of the Jedi. Even though I had only seen a handful of the new figures, the arrival of these mysterious characters, as well as some puzzling new costumes from some of my old favorites, was enough to fully restore my interest in my old Star Wars toys. I was eager to see the new film and create new adventures with these cool figures while I waited impatiently for my opportunity to see the new movie. Of course, once I finally did see the film, it was a different outfit worn by Leia that really got my attention. Still, the scenes with Leia and her Boosh disguise did not disappoint. However, even though I did understand that Leia was dressed up in an attempt to rescue Han Solo from Jabba's palace, even seeing the movie didn't help me to understand that Boosh was a bounty hunter and that Leia was impersonating him in this scheme. Leia's Boosh disguise action figure looks surprisingly similar to the costume in the movie. In fact, most of the figures looked a lot like their on-screen counterparts. I thought Return of the Jedi was amazing, and I'll admit, even though I might have been a little bit older than the target audience for the Ewoks, I even thought they were great. After seeing Return of the Jedi, I continued to play with the Star Wars toys for a little bit longer. Leia rarely used her giant gun, I mean, how would she even shoot it? She'd have to prop it up or something. But she did wear the helmet a good bit quite often playing the role of an entirely different character in my adventures. I ended up with most of the 1983 figures and about half of the figures that came out in 1984. But as my interest in G.I. Joe grew, I found myself spending less and less time playing with Star Wars figures until they rarely came out of their case. My dog chewed up Squidhead, and some of the last few figures have become pretty sticky, but I still have all of my figures from Return of the Jedi, as well as most of their accessories, safely stored in a vinyl case with two dark red trays. I'm pretty sure I have all of their card backs as well. In recent years, I've been getting them out more and more often, and I've even picked up a few new figures that I never had as a kid. They certainly do bring back memories of spending lazy afternoons lying on the floor, fully engrossed in making up all kinds of stories for my little plastic friends to act out. I can't even imagine growing up at a more perfect time than the late 70s and early 80s with the coolest toys and some of the best movies ever made. Did you have any figures from Return of the Jedi as a kid? If so, who was your favorite figure? Tell me in the comments below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. 
If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And one last thing, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit Toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching.